Welcome to a special edition of Justice. I'm Judge Janine Pirro. Tonight, an hour-long investigation into the dangers facing the U.S. power grid. What would it take to bring it down? And if our system did break down, how would you survive? And what would it be like in the dark? I'm in Lower Manhattan right now, standing in front of a power station, a typical power station. But last month, I went to a meeting just a few blocks from here in the freezing cold. But when I came out of that meeting, I was frozen, not from bitter temperatures, but from fear. I learned things that no one is talking about, things that can change my life, your life, and the lives of everyone you know forever. I started thinking about how fragile life is and how ill-prepared we are for this. Tonight, in an exclusive justice investigation, the vulnerability of America's power system, the United States electric grid. Are we ready for a terror attack? And what would we do if the lights went out? Now, tonight is about a series of forces and individuals who, instead of doing the right thing for you and me, are playing politics and gambling with your safety and our way of life. Now, who of us could ever envision 9-11 happening? But the difference between 9-11 and what I'm about to tell you is that we know that this can happen. The question is not when it happen, but when will it happen? And the consequences would be a million times worse than 9-11. One day, you're enjoying the comforts of life. The next, everything is different. Civilization as you know it would be gone. An electromagnetic pulse would destroy all electronics and the transformers that power everything, anything, with an on-off switch. Your hot water heater, your refrigerator, your dialysis machine. Hospitals are closed. Grocery shelves are empty. Most of the food you have at home is spoiled. And forget about your bank accounts. It doesn't matter. What you have in your pocket is all you can access. I imagine myself waking up to total darkness, nothing in my home working, food spoiled, water not running. I rummage through whatever last cans of food I can find. I'm alone because my kids and loved ones have no way to get to me. And I'm afraid, afraid to leave because it's too dangerous. People are desperate. They're hungry. Our civilization thrown back to the dark ages. I'm scared and helpless, and I don't know how I can survive. If there were to be such a catastrophic failure, our death toll would be staggering. A blue ribbon commission predicting mass fatalities, horrific loss of life, some even saying nine out of 10 Americans would die. This is not science fiction. It's real. And tonight we'll tell you about the ways that it could happen. Solar flare. Welcome to a special edition of Justice. I'm Judge Janine Pirro. Tonight, an hour-long investigation into the dangers facing the U.S. power grid. What would it take to bring it down? And if our system did break down, how would you survive? And what would it be like in the dark? I'm in Lower Manhattan right now, standing in front of a power station, a typical power station. But last month, I went to a meeting just a few blocks from here in the freezing cold. But when I came out of that meeting, I was frozen. Not for... <laughs> Welcome to a special edition of Justice. I'm Judge Janine Pirro. Tonight, an hour-long investigation into the dangers facing the U.S. power grid. What would it take to bring it down? And if our system did break down, how would you survive? And what would it be like in the dark? I'm in Lower Manhattan right now, standing in front of a power station, a typical power station. But last month, I went to a meeting just a few blocks from here in the freezing cold. But when I came out of that meeting, I was frozen, not from bitter temperatures, but from fear. I learned things that no one is talking about, things that can change my life.